Good morning from Marula camp. It is our last full day here at Marula. I must say I'm quite sad. It has been such a nice day here. Although the weather hasn't played along too well, it looks like it's clearing up today. The sun's already out. It's not drizzling like it did yesterday. We are very excited. Yay! We're going to go for a nice squaddle. Squaddle Brian this morning and let's see what we can find. See you guys later. Got a beautiful lion sighting this morning. Two males with a female. Stunning. We left the lions in peace and quickly popped over to the location of yesterday's lion feast to see who or what showed up, only to find a small cleanup crew. We left them to scavenge their day away and headed for our picnic site. For the third day in a row, we came across the exact same two elephant bulls going at it in the middle of the road. They clearly had a lot to talk about, and I was already smelling some bacon. The road to our breakfast was beautiful and filled with bird life. So you're doing the same as the roller. I'm doing that. I'm doing the roller. How are you doing the roller? Right guys, so we uh, stopped off for some breakfast here at Mizanzeni picnic site. Yeah, I'm um, on our just past Talamati camp or Talamati bush camp. Uh, we had a lovely morning, 
started off with some beautiful lions in the morning light. But first now, it's time for some breakfast. Mm. Yummy. Just had a like a brekkie barn yard, mm, zanzemi picnic site. It was very nice. Vincent is very friendly. He's the guy that runs the site. He showed us a little scopsy in the tree. So if you are ever here, ask Vincent to show you the scopsy. Very cute. On our way to Satara, we came across this open patch of field with a huge variety of swallows having a field day. We probably sat there for about 20 minutes identifying the different species. And then... Our first evidence that leopards still exist in the park. There was a huge roadblock with everyone waiting for this leopard to get up and show off for us. We waited for about half an hour with no luck. Only half a face through the windy grass to show for our efforts. At least I know that they still exist. We are here at Satara Rest Camp again. Just popped in for a lacquer like, ice cream. We had such a lovely drive after our brekkie this morning. We saw a leopard. Unfortunately, it was in the long grass and we only saw ears and a bit, the t a bit over the top of its face, not much. When we got to the front of Satara at the gate and we caused quite a roadblock, we saw two carmine bee eaters and it was a mom busy feeding its its little chick or the juvenile so we were taking photos of it and then quite a few other birders stopped and take, took photos of them and then all the other cars stopped, what do I see what do you guys see so we caused quite a roadblock with carmine bee eaters So we are at a hyena den. We stop at every evening just before we go back to camp. And this evening, the little hyenas have decided to make this car their shelter. So cute. There's two of them under this car. People are a bit stuck, sorry. 
So we just arrived back at camp after a lovely drive. It was a bit longer than expected, but it was very, very fruitful. Saw a lot of birds today, and we had two leopard sightings. The one, unfortunately, just ran over the road and we didn't get any footage of it. It ran across the road about a kilo or two before... Before camp, the, yeah. Before the... Um, Marulat and Bertie turn, turn off. Turn off. Yeah. But unfortunately we didn't get any footage, but it was pretty cool to see. We just saw a Jacobin cuckoo in camp, um, which was also nice to yeah. see. They make beautiful sounds. And we saw the purple roller today, which was also pretty yeah, cool. That was pretty cool. Not your, not your everyday roller. Not your everyday roller. So we're going to go bird and see what we can find at yeah, camp. We just have to be careful. We had a monkey on our tent when we arrived back at camp. Let's see what we can find. Already got our first visitor in camp or around camp. Day four and basically a wrap of our stay here at Marula. Marula, last night in our tent. Loved our stay at Marula. Absolutely fantastic. Small camp, well uh, kept, taken, care taken care of camp, there yeah. is the word. We, um, had, we heard a lot of bad reviews or read a lot of bad reviews of the bathrooms. They, everybody loved the camp, but the bathrooms they said were not up to shape. But they have recently redone them, so the bathrooms yeah. look fantastic. They are brilliant. Um, they are better than my bathroom at home. <laughs> they look fantastic. They are. We really, yeah, super impressed with the camp. Really loved it. Had a good day. What was your highlight of the day? Highlight, uh, definitely the big mer lions. I, yeah, I do love like them. Mer lion. Then purple roller. Purple, was a nice one. Purple roller was really cool. And then the, is the African cuckoo hawk. Ooh, Definitely that was, was, cool. a, was a brilliant one. That yeah, cool. we'll, uh, we'll share and some of that. Our two leopards, although we only got half a face of one, but we saw the other one. We saw the full one for a second, and we saw, I think, let's say 10% of one for about half an hour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all in all, brilliant day. Uh, can't wait for the rest. Now it's uh, onwards to Tenze. Tenze Rustic Camp. It's going to be brilliant. But let's enjoy our last little bit here at Marula. Cheers. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching us stay at Marula as much as we enjoyed staying there. I can definitely recommend Marula Camp to anyone wanting to escape the hustle and bustle of all the bigger camps. Please leave a comment below if we misidentified any birds and also to tell us your favorite moment from our stay at Marula. As you guys can see, my beard is still growing, and so is my excitement for Tenze Rustic Camp. See you guys there. Cheers.